is a i just uh, named this session as a daily use office apps so in this uh, session i am going to the, to these five tools actually those are outlook and microsoft teams onedrive sharepoint and onenote these tools are uh, our daily purpose it's a uh, um, if you are working in a programming or the programming or administrator or even end users okay or even if you are working as a trainer also or hr department also these tools are very very important in in the it industry nowadays so 95% of companies are using these tools to communicate the employees in, in in the organization okay in the teams teams are uh, charts or um, meetings they can do within these tools actually okay um, we will go through this one by one first of all outlook uh, you know right outlook what is the meaning of the outlook is um, is a one uh, email email client for it it will provide the microsoft 365 um, um, suit and we can use this outlook for sending and receiving mails and we can also make a meeting schedules and and also we can organize our emails by in the folder structure uh, what is important we can highlight those uh, mails we can highlight and we can remember those emails by using a flag tags and also this outlook we can integrate um, many other i mean uh, in outlook we can integrate many others to share the documents within the team or within the organization so i think you know how to mail in gmail or hotmail something like that right? so but gmail and hotmail those cannot be used in in the organization okay because there is those are public so every organization will will use a private uh, channels or private tools to communicate the to communicate the employees to the organization in the organization okay so here while sending emails okay we have to remember some of the uh, main points those we can go to this before that we can we can have a outlook in different formats okay outlook client is a, a windows uh, uh, system client and we can install outlook and we can use it in uh, outlook uh, i mean in we can use it in our system okay by installing and the, without installing also we can use in the browser that is called as a outlook on the web so you can use it in your uh, in the mobile also by using uh, downloading the outlook app this is very important outlook app, app is very important uh, if you have this outlook app in your mobiles and uh, you know, while going break also in the office so we can monitor our mail boxes okay and we can reply instantly from the outlook app okay this is how uh, um, simplicity uh, for the using of the outlook app so in this in this session i will go to the um at uh, this type of demos um, this many demos we can go go to the check mails send mails create a meeting invite and um, creating signature how to, how can create signature in the mail and how to send a automatic replies and how to make uh, some rules so in the rules section i can go to the what is a rule and how we can set the rules okay and here if you see the in the demo or slide i put some start button for one of the point that is creating a meeting invite see this is why i am putting star you know um, i got to know in the market who are joining the it industry first time they lose the jobs without if they don't know this feature i am stressing this point if you don't know how to create a meeting invite you might lose the job okay please try to understand uh, this one uh, how to create a meeting if you see uh, if other calendars we can see other calendar availability and we can create a meeting anyway you can go through the sessions uh, all the demos now first of all by using uh, we need to use office.com to log in the microsoft 365 portals or office portal you have to log in like this office.com you can simply type office.com it will ask for the user authentication so i i am using ksr authentication like this okay if you have it you can try to log in okay 
if you have it already ksr mail you can try to uh, um, browse this uh, in your uh, machines okay so here if you see the a uh, lot of uh, uh, office suit applications this is here you can see outlook onedrive onenote word excel powerpoint sharepoint teams so these actually these are uh, useful uh, if you go to the any organization so <coughs> now i am going to the outlook so i am using the browser sessions okay so you can in the browser we can have a multiple uh, options we can you can go through this uh, all the, all the set of points which are mentioned in demo slide so you know right here uh, are you, you know how to send a mail is simply click on new mail and you can you can put who whom you want to send you can put those names here okay something like you can put subject line okay this is a um, need a status or something like that you can you can put something signature like this right i'm just maximizing this screen here you can see the lot of options so there is a one one important point is here there is a there is a one icon you can see this is important if this email is important and you want to send as a important okay just click on this here you can see one uh, import one uh, this icon okay this symbol you can see right this this is called as a uh, important mail okay and you can i mean we, we can categorize the mails like this if it is a important you can send important okay so now i am sending it if you see the inbox see here i am seeing i am seeing right this icon so the below mails i can't see that icon so it, which means it is a important if you want to send a, a one of the mail and that that be focused more you can send like this important mail okay like this you can send it important mails and how to reply it if you want to reply there is a blind rule do not change any subject okay if you want to reply any mail do not change any subject okay this subject cannot be changed okay even if it is a mistake also don't change because if you change this now it will change the uh, uh, chain okay so it will change the it will like this it will actually it will have a one chain a chain like in one email email content or one email box email message you can see this drop down icon i mean, I mean you can expand and you can uh, you can see what what are the mails in this so this change will be will lose that's why uh, by a blind rule is while replying the mails do not change the subject okay so now i have this mail and, and i mean uh, i got a, a mail uh, two days back or three days back or today i want to focus on that mail okay i i mean uh, i want if i open the mail mail the outlook i want to see that mail as a first so in that case you can just flag that mail this is the flag if you flag it it will come it will come as a first and it will display if you see this one and you can you can you can directly uh filter by using a flag mail if you have any task mails okay if you have any training mails we can flag it until those are finished okay like this we can easily filter the flagged mails and you can focus on more this is how we can manage the outlook more uh, usability and also we can if you want to move these mails into separate mailbox or separate a uh, folder you can create a folders okay and for example personal i can move this email just put it in drop just drag it here select and drag okay you can drag this like this folder structure we can maintain okay like this what are the important tasks like personal mail if you have a, any personal or if you have any specific to the client okay uh, client mails if you want to save in a separate folder okay you can just uh, put a one folder and move those folders do, more respect to mails to this folder okay and also if you want to put some rules also we can put if based on the subject you want to move okay for example 
rules here rules add a new rule and you can mention the subject line you can mention the subject line or what condition um what condition you want example um, conditions you can add see i am on the to line or i am the cc line or email received for others or email received from one of the particular person please move it to some other location or some other folder okay like this you can you can make it a uh, for example i am putting on on rule if i am getting any mail from the mahesh okay move that to another folder okay uh, move to move to any folder like uh, for example i can create a one folder and select and it, it will uh, move okay now if mahesh will send any mail na i can i can those mails can move to mahesh folder it will move this folder okay like this like this we can organize this is one of the uh, rule also is one of the good feature in outlook okay so do you have any questions on the rules part see i got one mail in office in focused or other uh, sections i i didn't get but office i got it because my the rule has a satisfied so it automatically move right see they put some simple subject in office so based on the office keyword it automatically redirect move the uh, those mails to one of the folder the folder name is office okay the folder name whatever it, it, it want you can you can make it okay but like this see automatically it's coming into this folder like you can make uh, see if you see the rules uh, you can see the what are the conditions here okay see based on the condition here th these many conditions are there here if you, if you select from or to email received for others okay or otherwise uh, uh, my name is in a uh, tool tool or my name is in cc cc you know right cc carbon copy okay Uh, i will tell you what is it uh, so subject line only subject or subject line or body body keywords also we can by using we can use uh, for the rules okay message body sender address include something like these many rules are there we can use it to organize our emails nicely okay i mean our focus cannot be changed uh, right so our focus will be improved if you set uh, if you set the rules or if you organize the mails our focus will be more on the work and we can we can give a better result or better outputs right so this is this is how in the real time it will work rules okay so you understand the rules okay thank you so next part is uh, i am going to the i uh, meeting invites okay so here how to how to uh, create a one meeting invite can in the new mail section if there is a drop down you can just click on uh, drop down and you will have a lots of uh, um, events and i mean lots of options you can see here there is a event uh, option you can select for the meetings okay here you can see lot of options okay uh you can put a add title means you can put the what is the meeting purpose okay you can put the title of the meeting for example it is a it is a, a status meeting daily status meeting for example daily status meeting so uh who are going to go attend this meeting here we can select all the all the options like balakrishna one c so i got i got like this right so you can you can here we can select that date when do you want the uh, a meeting so for example today i want the meeting at 11 o'clock okay so i am sending the meeting in right and here you can see there is a one important option here if you select the timing state if i am select the timings for example here you can see this section is very very important okay i mean see if you if you are getting the tick mark right it means in this timings these all people are uh, having a, a calendar a calendar time they 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 are available i mean they don't have any meeting clash okay for example if i have a 11 o'clock meeting today 
uh, tomorrow. I mean, on Monday, I have 11 o'clock. Huh? Otherwise, let's see, nine o'clock, sorry. Nine o'clock, I have a meeting tomorrow. See here, see here. Only two are ticked green and one is cross. You're seeing, right? It, which means this person is not available on that. He is busy on that on that timing. Okay. Oh. Like this, we can see other 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 uh, when meeting uh, timings. I mean, is is that person is available on that particular time or not? Okay. If he is not available and he is very important to join this meeting, then you can change the meeting time. It it will automatically change to green okay green tick because he is available so if if you are comfortable with the time you can just select the time and you can just simply send him on meeting invite okay and here also this option you can select for the team meeting which means without selecting first of all without selecting i'm sending see meeting invite sent but there is no meeting link in that see if you don't select the team meeting option, it won't send any link. So there is no uh, option to join the meeting. Okay. For example, I can edit this meeting, same meeting. I'm just uh, uh, selecting this uh, team meeting option. I'm sending again. See now automatically there is a team meeting came and people, people can join by using this link. You understand, you people understand other calendar time, how you can see. See, this is very important, guys. While sending him, see, one simple question I will ask. See, I will, uh, you joined in. So, if you want to, uh, one more scenario is, uh, uh, I will ask one question. Uh, I mean, I am the man, I am the team lead, for example, in a company, and I will ask my subordinate, create a meeting invite when I am available, okay? I will ask uh, a, a subordinate, right? He, he wants to create a one uh, a meeting invite when I am available. This type of uh, questions will ask your manager and you have to responsible to create a one meeting invite by using your manager availability time. Okay. This is very important. See, I, I put a, a, a star mark for this because with, if you don't know the meeting invite, how to send a meeting invite, your manager available time. Okay. They will think you are... Uh, you are something uh, you are you don't have experience in it they will think like that okay try to understand that's why try to understand it and one more thing in the meeting invites i will go through that that is repeating repeating events or repeating meetings for example i want i want a meeting for every monday or every thursday or every friday i want to create like every week every friday i want to create a one fun act fun mail okay uh, to join all the persons and they can they can create some fun time right to create a repeating uh, uh, mails we have a one option here repeat okay repeat here daily weekly monthly yearly or custom uh, it's uh, you can see these these many options here right so for example you want to create one meeting invite to weekly and here you can select which date which day you want to repeat this event you can select number of, for example monday friday or only friday okay you can select it and you can send the meeting on the timings you can select the timings for example fun activity i want to make it three every every friday three to four okay and i am select the team meeting option and here you can see the optional optional uh, attendance here optional attendance means see this is the required uh, uh, persons they have to join the meeting without them uh, the meeting is uh, uh, is not fulfilled meeting agenda will not fulfilled so you can put all the required mandatory mandatory users you can just uh, add here and optional option also you can mention okay i mean they need they need if, if in this meeting but it, those are not mandatory okay like this optional attendance also you can mention it like this i am sending now uh, balakrishna and vamsi you can see your calendar every friday there is a fun friday meeting please confirm if if you are seeing every friday Friday, Sunday. Okay, I selected Sunday also. Okay, that's why you are seeing Sunday also. 
every friday and sunday you are seeing right yeah how to see the calendar you can just see here there is a calendar option in the outlook also you can see the calendar option and here you can see the what are the meetings on the month it will display month wise calendar if you want you can change it to weekly or daily like this weekly also you can select it so here see uh, i selected november month and i can see the uh, on friday and i mean uh, and one one more is status of migration there is a meeting on every monday and thursday i am seeing these two meetings i mean single meeting but two days i have it monday and thursday this is called a repeating meeting okay and your job is a daily whenever you went to the organization i mean whenever you logged into the office office you have to check your calendar okay and see what are the meetings scheduled this day okay this is your regular job guys please remember and check your calendar daily and uh, check your mails Uh, daily and uh, with a frequent of 30 minutes at least every 30 minutes you have to refresh your uh, mailbox and you have to check is there any new mail is came okay at least 30 30 minutes this is a important practice okay if you are working in something but you just remember you have to check e emails some people will create meetings immediately okay if you miss it if you lose i mean if you lose the meeting invitation and if you, if you lose the meeting invitation means you can lose the meeting discussions or very important mails also you can lose if you if you are not monitoring the your mailbox so outlook or mail mailboxes are very very important in your daily job for example go to the calendar for example i don't want to join this day okay cancel that see if it is a, a repeating me meeting na you can see all events in series okay only okay. this only this event and particular day event if you want to cancel you can select this one okay you are the if you are the organization you can cancel for the entire team okay if you are individual person like um, i have added some purna or emuna or something like they can cancel their calendar only they cannot cancel the entire uh, uh, team to the uh, i mean team meeting to the entire team okay only organizer only organizer can cancel the entire team team meeting okay for example i created a phone friday so i want to cancel this meeting for entire series or entire uh, sunday event so see you can put cancel reason if it see i have cancel it and the meeting went it's not their meeting here okay and and uh, balakrishna and vamsi also they cannot see that meeting and uh, maybe they they can get the one cancel notification mail also right balakrishna you got the cancel mail like this cancel phone friday on this day for example oh. if you okay for example if you want to cancel the entire series okay see i am the organizer i mean organizer means i, I have created the meeting right so i can cancel the entire series you can cancel all events in the series now see i don't have any meeting on uh, uh, what is this on sunday okay or saturday this is uh, somewhere i created so i can i am cancelling this also see all the mails gone all the meeting invites gone right if you cancel the event it will cancel on that particular day only if you cancel the event series it will cancel all the repeating events okay now you can you can select and you can add a meeting one meeting whenever you want understood right okay so practice if you have a case or uh, if you have a, uh, your hotmail also you can you can practice this one okay so don't cancel the meeting okay if you if you are busy in some other work just inform your team okay you understood right meeting so i am going to the next topic that is automatic reply so for example i am i am going raj said right i am going to uh, uh, vacation i am putting some leave on two days or three days or one week how many days you want at least one day or half day also you you can put some out of the box i mean some out of the office mail and which sends automatic reply if any any person is sending one mail to you it will it will send automatic reply okay so how it is go to the mailbox and click on view and go to the view setting here you can see that there is automatic replies here you can turn the automatic replies if you want and select the timings okay and date and timings when do you want to send this automatic reply 
okay for example next monday and tuesday i'm i'm putting leave okay i'm i'm not in the office okay so i can send monday monday for example i select from the monday starting 12 am to tuesday tuesday i am whole tuesday also i am in leave so i can select 11:30 pm okay or otherwise one second i can select today for demo purpose also i selected today today to tuesday if anybody send any mail within this duration of time start time and end time okay so this is the you can put what what are the text you want to put he can put here hi thank you for your email i am out of the office and i will have a limited access while i am away if you need immediate assistance please email us some group our group or you can put your um, uh, team lead mail id something like that but contact person is very important here okay instead of you whom need to contact okay your entire team there is a one mail if, if you have a entire team mail you can put that mail otherwise you can put your colleague mail or team lead mail something like that okay in stuff then they will if any any if for example if you are supporting one application and one person has got a one issue and he wants immediate resolution for that so you are you are not in their office instead of uh, uh, while sending team automatic replies that person should know whom to contact instead of you okay you can put them like this okay you can put the message like this it is there is here there is a two options one is send automatic replies inside your organization only your organization people and if you want to send replies outside your organization also you can select this option also it means anybody sending from outside organization also if they want to know you are you are not in office you can put the message if you want to put some different messages you can put different messages for each and then just save it okay its automatic replies are currently turned on okay so now please send a mail to me uh, balakrishna uh, sorry krishna and vamsi anybody you can send me mail you people will get a one automatic reply any any person i mean uh, from your gmail accounts also you can try your gmail or hotmail whatever mail you want you can try but you have to send to this mail spadala@ksrconsultantservices.com this mail is also fine anybody sending from gmail or hotmail so krishna and vamsi confirm you got any automatic reply because i selected sunday 12 am to tuesday 11:30 pm in this in this duration okay in this duration who are sending the mail they will get one automatic reply so i got a mail from purna from his gmail account from his gmail account so in gmail also i mean his gmail mail also will have a one automatic reply purna please confirm you got any mail to gmail ksr right ksr mail id see like this you can put some automatic replies whenever you are not in uh, office or whenever you are not there in your system like if you if you go to the any any training sessions and the training sessions are from morning to evening that time you are not available for emails that time also you can put some meeting um, i mean automatic replies this is guys about the outlook these are very important features okay i think you understand all these options so create signature i will go to the create signature one more point see uh while sending emails right we can put some signature like thanks thanks something like that thanks regards and we can put some uh, name and phone number like this right so every time typing those every mail or every reply typing it is a, it is a, it will take time and sometimes it will have some mistakes will happen so to avoid that mistakes for the signature okay we can set the how uh, we can set automatic signatures how we can see this go to the view settings compose and reply see this is here there you are seeing signature right so for example i am putting uh, some title of the uh, signature i can put some text here thanks eva and phone number something like this is very important the signature put your mail id and your phone number okay in if you are working in a professional uh, it team this is very important to by setting the uh, signature and the signature should contain your 
phone number master mission this is the professional way uh, by putting signature mail okay signature in the your emails that is a professional way so for example i set it if you want you can put your certification icon also, icons also if you have any certifications you can put certification icons also okay and if you are working any specific department for example i am working for ksr and for training department for example if you are working hr you can put your okay put your department name also in the signature uh, okay like this and just you can put and save it and here there are other settings also is there okay include link by booking okay it's not required and for new messages ksr default default signature if you want if you have a multiple signature like for your company and your client you can select default also okay ksr means this is the title i am selecting default section i am selecting not just title of the signature okay okay just uh, okay this is okay and just close it and now just to try to compose new mail you will get automatic signature i am not typed right this is automatic signature okay you can you can just type whatever a mail content you want while replying also you can get for example i am trying to Mm. i have to try to reply to this mail on see so in the reply mails also you can get the automatic signature this is this is a very professional way okay signature is a professional way and it will avoid the spelling mistakes or any 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 mistakes it will avoid in the signature you got it right yeah got it yes so this is a uh, um, topics i covered in outlook okay so now you know the how to check the mails and sending the mails creating meeting invite signature and automatic replies and rules you are aware of this right so if you have any questions here you can just raise after that after this session and now we are talking about the i mean we are discussed about the outlook how to send mails mails how to reply mails mails okay we are specific i am i am pressing the mails means we are talking uh, we discussed about the mails only but what is teams see teams is for a chatting if we want to, every every time the mail is uh, not the proper way if for small small messages or small small information you want or if you want to uh, share small information to your team member or your entire team every time mail is not good okay and your mailbox will full and you will, and people will confuse if your inbox having a more mails okay so a small message to share to the team we have a teams microsoft by using microsoft teams we can collaborate or we can share our small information to to our team that is one to one chatting we can do or many to many chattings we can do and also teams by using teams we can organize or we can create meetings also and we can share the files also by using microsoft teams okay uh, how to access the teams simply just in the microsoft a suit microsoft 365 suit we can have a teams section go to the teams click on teams it will open the teams like a google chat it will open a, a teams teams chat window uh, if you want you can open the teams also in your uh, browsers just simply don't need to install anything okay these are all browser accessible just you want the internet and system and browser that's it okay don't need to install or don't need to any setup required to use these these tools okay so i just uh, Oh, open the teams and here you can see a lot of options i am not going to these options okay uh, only i will go to the chat and the teams i will go the only these two in the chat individuals individual chat history or chat um, uh, boxes will be available for example i want to send one mail to pomsi i want to send a, a small message to omsi okay 
I'm just I will bring you like that. Once you, you if you want, you can reply. It. Like this, you can send it. Okay, you can chat it. If you want to add one person in this in this conversation, you can try to add here also by using this option. You can add. I can add. Okay, I can add. How many people? If you want, you can add it. Okay, you can see here. You can see the count of the two members. Okay, here you can just hide it. If you want to send any any message, okay. If you want to send any files, file share, you can you can send it by using this option, okay. And if it is important message, okay, you can just like this. If it is important message, you can just type it. I mean, more uh, focused points you can put that in the chat also. And gifs like in our our WhatsApp gifs, right? We can add some gifs. I mean, you can just go through these options if you want. Okay, you can um, add videos or Microsoft Steam, Steam video. You can add. Okay, this is our team. I mean, multiple people can uh, uh, chat in the, in one chat window. You got it. This is the actually this tool is uh, uh, every company is using for the internal communication, organization level communication. They are using. 95% companies are using this okay and the ksr is a, a good institute or good training institute they are providing these option these um, uh, suit within your uh, training uh, cost right you can use it these options and you can get the you get the knowledge and that real time experience so for example uh, your team your team having a 10 members we have a separate group for the 10 members okay if you want you can create one team for that okay my project team for example my project team i'm creating a team okay you can add somebody ping some arjun sir yes sir this is yours arjun yes yes sir okay mine so i have added these three members and and i will add like a member or owner okay see there, there are two sections right owner and member see member can see or can read messages or they can access the files owner can do more by adding members to the group or the, they can delete owners can delete okay for example i am adding as arjun as a owner so now he will add or he will remove the members from this group okay now it is created there are some settings you can select a icon also for group but i am not going to this so now you can see this here who manage team you can see what are the members are there in this group and who and owners and members you can see anytime you can change it okay i mean owner who are the owner he can change the member permissions or he can add a member okay like this this is a managed team but if you want to chat click on new conversation okay and you can just send me every people every person will get a, a this chat and you can open the and you can reply to that conversation and here you can share the files also by just in the go to the files tab and upload or create a new document so see every i mean you three members are seeing the ship data file please confirm go to the teams tab and project my project team group and files tab Uh, i have a question over here yeah uh if this file gets deleted by mistake how can we recover is there yeah. a possibility yes yes is the it's a possibility is there uh, there is a, see every share every group will create one sharepoint site okay that sharepoint site yeah. will have a recycle bin up okay up to 30 days if it deleted records are deleted 
files will be there in the recycle bin. We can restore oh. before 30 days. Where in SharePoint? Like where can we find Recycle bin. Recycle bin. Okay. 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 And everyone will have access to that to recover it. Yeah, who are there? Who are there in the um, team? This uh, team group, they will have access. Okay. 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 Thanks. That is a different uh, topic. Okay. We will see that SharePoint session. Session. Okay. That is okay. That's in the concept. Uh, so teams, uh, you got right teams group and chats. Now, now how to set the notification? See, for example, see uh, <clears throat> here group chat I done sharing files manage me here also manage set notifications and change the status. Uh, I will go to the change the status first. See, people uh, actually here change the status. I put star mark here means one person i got to know one person lose the job because of the they don't know that how to change the status see this is a if you see the settings this is very silly okay there's i mean who are professional way are professionally working are the putting by putting experience in their going it industry nowadays these are very basic the Changing the status or changing the status is is, is very uh, easy. Um, losing the job means that is I'm just a, a thing. I thought it's a silly reason. Okay. See here available right. You can make it as a busy. So if you do not disturb, these people cannot. I mean Balakrishna Vamsi or any other person cannot message me. They cannot message. And I mean, okay. So please make sure the what is your availability and changing the availability. If it is by mistakenly it gone to the do not disturb, please make it to available or busy. Okay. This is the status. See if I am making the status. Are you seeing the my status right, Krishna and Vamsi? Are you seeing what is the status you are seeing? My status. Vamsi or Arjun, Krishna, do not disturb your thing, right? Yeah, that is out of office, that's fine. But this is the status is important. This status is important. See, uh, the case is where I, I mentioned case here, right? The case is somehow the particular person uh, status set as a do not disturb, okay? And, and his manager asked, please make it available. Please make your team status as available. Okay. He asked that manager asked the question to one of my known person. And he don't know how to set that. After one week, also he, he didn't change the status. So now tell me, manager, what he will think. You are a real-time experience or you are you are something like that. They will think like that. So to avoid that situation, you get to know that these are very basics. Just put available. This is the status. And next, set the notifications, right? Set the notification. What is the notification? If somebody say, for example, Arjun, I'm taking one person out of three members, I'm taking Arjun. Arjun, uh, I want to know uh, he's available whenever he's uh, online. I want, to, I want to see a notification. Whenever he's going to offline, I want to see one notification, okay? how to set it so just which person you want just click and right click notify when available just set this notify when available see for example he locked the system and he went away and so after sometimes if he will come back online huh? i will see here here one small uh, notification i can see see arjun is available online arjun is is went offline i will see one notification here something like desktop notifications we can see right for updates or mails okay here in this section we can see his availability notification i mean available notifications you can see it if you want to turn off you can turn off notification and you can you can check all these options also whenever you have a time you can check it i'm not going to these options but these are options also is useful okay 
and from teams how we can manage the meetings from the teams how we can manage the meetings in the teams we can see calendar also here this calendar and the outlook calendar are both are same okay both are same see all meetings i can see here okay if you want to add a, a meeting invite if you want to send a meeting invite you can just click on that day you can just like this all the options we see we saw right previously in the calendar calendar meeting these options same options you can see if we want to if we want to set repeat repeat uh, meeting we can set the repeating repeat meeting i mean from the teams also we can create a meetings okay if you want to join any existing meeting from the teams yes you can join it. just click the existing meeting and just click on join so you do, if you are uh, in the teams and that you can see the uh, all the options of the calendar any doubt here ks are providing these many tools you can go through this okay yeah 